I grew up on Star Wars and Star Trek. Mike Puzio's childhood was surrounded by space and rockets, but his life really got launched in the right direction in 2013 when NASA made a huge announcement. For the first time, they were going to collect a piece of an asteroid and bring it back to Earth. But the space rock they chose, which was designated Asteroid 1999RQ36, was in need of a more media-savvy name. So the Planetary Society held a contest. And I figured that it would be appropriate to name the asteroid Bennu because it would be returning to Earth. Puzio says he already knew that the spacecraft that would bring the asteroid bits to Earth was being built in Colorado and would be named Osiris-Rex. In a quick Google search, he learned that in Egyptian mythology, the deity Osiris came to Earth in the form of a bird named Bennu. Puzio's Bennu idea was selected out of 8,000 entries and officially adopted by NASA. Honestly, it's just pretty much changed the trajectory of my life. Suddenly, nine-year-old Mike Puzio was shaking hands with astronauts. He even stood with his idol Bill Nye the Science Guy on the day Osiris-Rex set sail for Bennu in 2016. And liftoff of Osiris-Rex. Puzio says he was inspired to reach for the stars. Now as a sophomore at NC State, his goal is to work in space. I see astronauts as heroes because they go out there, they risk their lives for the betterment of humanity. And after a successful return to Earth, NASA is now analyzing the carbon-rich dust and 4.5 billion-year-old pebbles from Bennu. They hope it could unlock the secrets to life on Earth and the creation of our solar system. Hey, space exploration is important for finding out who we are and where we're going. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, Night News. NASA now with a scheduled reveal set for Wednesday. That's where they're going to display those pieces of Bennu to the public for the first time and also have some results from their initial analysis. Quite a story behind Bennu. How about that? Pretty cool. Changed his life. Yeah.